comparison with some of the gels I've already got just so you can see now like I said I haven't got the full collection but I'll just compare them with what I have so if we start off with Nina Cherry so this is all about Mimi so it's definitely more of a mauvey colour cherry pie you can't really see it as well but it's more it's got like an ultraviolet purple kind of colour and then Nina Cherry is here in the middle so they are similar, but Nina Cherry is your true berry purple colour, I would say. So that's that one. So we've got Mona Myrtle. And I would compare her most. This is why I bought her though, because I haven't really got a colour similar in my collection. So I definitely try and fill the gaps of the colours I have when I make an order. But I'd probably say she's most comparable to these two. So this is Aquamarina, which you can tell is a much brighter sort of sea green. Mona Myrtle's here, so really nice pastel. Oh, these would look gorgeous together. Um, and sort of more of a grey tone. I'd probably compare it also with... Actually, I was going to say Denim Jean, but no, totally different. So yeah, these three are probably the most comparable and as you can see there, it's a totally different tone. So they look really nice together. I'll have to do a set with those, maybe some glitter as well. Um, but yeah, so completely different, sort of more of a grey green, really light, really subtle, gorgeous colour. So that's Mona Myrtle. Then next we've got Pip Squeak. And I would probably, sorry about all the noise and of the swatch sticks, I would probably say, I've got hazelnut and there must be like a nude that's similar. Let's go with grit and grace. Yeah. So we've got I'll do these two actually. So I've got hazelnut, which you can see is more of a um well a chestnut y sort of cut well, a hazelnut colour. 
um, Grit and Grace, which is more, it is a nude, but it's got more pink shades to it. And then Pipsqueak is here. So Pipsqueak, there's a colour that I'm thinking of, but I just can't think of the word. Just a nice pale, warm toned brown. Let's go with that. So that's Pipsqueak. Um, Cherry Blossom. Like I said, I haven't got a colour like in my collection. So like you can see what I was saying about with the pinks, they're either like neon-y like these or more of a nudie tone. Whereas Cherry Blossom, you can see it's it's just totally different to any colours I have. It's a proper pink and it's a nice solid dark pink. All the colours I have are either really light pink or virgin on the neon sort of colours. So I'd probably compare her mostly with Cotton Candy and let me see about the nudes. Um, yeah, you can't really compare. It's just a total, completely new shade. So I'm really happy I've got Cherry Blossom. Goodness gracious me, will be with the whites and greys. So obviously plain jane and fresh as a daisy just a really light light gray and then we've also got here strong gale which is the other gray i've got and as you can see it's a really dark gray so i love goodness gracious me it's just a really nice subtle gray um and also i've got woe nelly which is like a gray nude but you can tell it's definitely got more brown tones to it so again, a completely new colour for the collection. And Sandy Lane. Now, when I bought this and I saw the photos, I was thinking, oh, but is that quite similar to denim jean? In the camera, it's coming up a lot more purple. It is. It has definitely got a um, sort of grey blue tinge to it as well. But I'll show you now. So where are we? Um, here we go. So denim jean. You can see here that denim jean is definitely a more muted bluey purple. But yeah, denim jean is probably the closest I've got to her. But then if I compare her to, say, Life of Riley, you can see it's more purple. So yeah, that's Sandy Lane. So next, we'll go on to the glitters. So first of all, Tara. Look, oh. I'm so glad to finally have a silver holographic because it's just it's just amazing. Anything you put this over will look amazing. Um, it won't necessarily take on the colour that's underneath, but this is perfect for glitter fades. So any colour, starting from the cuticle or the free edge, fade it down, it will just look amazing. So that's what I'm most excited to use Tara for. Um, in regards to... A comparison in my collection like I said I haven't got loads but I can't really compare it because I haven't got a silver apart from the Ashley flakes but it's just a totally different thing so can't really compare her so brand new glitter Kylie do you see what I mean by the purple blue shift it's really really gorgeous is it focusing yeah there we go um, I'd say she's most comparable to Beth, which again has a bluey purple, but Beth is more of a, it's got more colours in there. So Kylie is just purple and blue, whereas Beth has greens, pinks, all different sort of colours. But I'd say definitely cut wise they're the same. They're both the sort of chunky mix, but Kylie is just stunning. So that's her. Frankie, oh look at her, are you going to focus? There we go. So I haven't done it full coverage, just because I quite like that you can sort of see through it a little bit and you still get the effect from it so it doesn't need to be full coverage but Frankie I'd say is most comparable with, I don't know, can't really compare this one. Probably Livy because it's the same sort of tones, but you can see Frankie's got red in there, it's got deeper purples, and it's a chunky cut, whereas Livy is a fine 
but them two would look gorgeous together so you can always mix them so that's funky oh, knock them over good job they've got lids on this is marjorie so as you can see when she's actually swatched and there's no color underneath she looks you can sort of see greens blues even yellows in there but i think that's picking up on the yellow from my light because of the iridescent flakes in there it will transform depending what color is underneath so when you look at her in the bottle compared to on the swatch it's much more subtle whereas if you had an orange underneath it would look more like this i wonder if it would actually do anything if i put it over oh my god look at that so this is her without anything underneath so she's sort of picking up the yellow in the light but put her over an orange that's so pretty you can still see the the yellow but i think that's just because it's reflecting the light but it brings out the deeper tones so like the the pinks the oranges the reds oh that's so pretty so yeah i think with these ones the mother's day collection so marjorie and linda I would probably use them over another colour because then it will just transform. Um, I wouldn't probably put it just on a bare nail, but I mean, if someone likes that look, then, then I would. But it's definitely going to look better if you put it over another colour. So that's her. And then we've got Linda, speaking of the devil. So as you can see, it looks like a totally different glitter. So this is Linda just on its own. And it's picking up the purple, again, the yellow blues and if you were to look at that you probably wouldn't say that was a blue glitter but in the bottle you would so it is really it really does depend on the color underneath and linda is what i have on my nails so you can kind of tell because it's picking up the blue but you don't really get the yellowy clear vibes you just because i've got the sandy lane underneath so it just shows you how different it can be depending what colors underneath and the same if i put it over this one um, Mona Myrtle it's going to bring out more of the green and the lighter colours so I love these I'm going to have to get all of them I think because I just love that they've got flakes in as well as the glitter it's just stunning so that's Linda and then lastly we've got Millie which is a holographic fine oh beautiful and most comparable to um, I would say definitely Anastasia and maybe Faith, because it's got pinks in there as well. But as you can see, Anastasia is kind of just pure rose gold, if it'll focus. There you go. It's just rose, go rose gold. Faith is a supercharged holographic, so you can tell there's much more holographic flex in Faith than there is Anastasia. And then Millie, I'd say is between the two, actually. It kind of looks like the two have been mixed together, because there's pinks in there. There's silver as well. Um, it's just really nice, really nice to have different options. But yeah, very similar. I would say she's smack bang in the middle of those two. So yeah, that's all the glitters. So I hope you've enjoyed this swatch video. If you do, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>